Tonight on The Prophet. How are you? An actress comes home to Ohio to build the health and home goods brand. I would make all of my own essential oil products with my dad, with my sisters. You've seen real results from this product, mm -hmm. and other people have too. But several years in, there's no happy ending in sight. I'm crying more today than I have on seven seasons of Parenthood. She won't let her team make decisions, even though she lives and works thousands of miles away. You think I'm going behind your back? I don't know how long I can do it for. She is resistant to every change. I hate it. Even though the business loses almost $100,000 a year. You're throwing money in the trash right now. And now, the stress is pulling her family apart. If anybody wants to support my mom, go for it. If I can't convince her to trust my process, Monica Potter home may be at risk of closing forever. You might recognize Monica Potter from NBC's long-running series, Parenthood. But when she's not making movies or TV, she's making products like skincare, room sprays, and candles, and selling them through her company, Monica Potter Home. The best part about the whole company is we are bringing jobs back home. A Cleveland native, Monica opened her first retail store in nearby Garrettsville in 2014, employing her sister, Jessica, along with other members of the community. They soon found success with their signature product, a balm that Monica personally developed. A sea buckthorn balm. People use it for eczema, burn scar tissue. It's made of all natural ingredients. Before long, they opened a second shop in downtown Cleveland, and sales blossomed to over 400,000 a year. Hi there. How are you? Hi, I'm Marcus. Jessica. Hi, nice to meet you. Do you know where Monica is? She should be here any second. OK. Oh. Speak of the devil. I'm getting. Guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. Hi. How are you? You're really cute. Nice, thank you. But you're really late. I said I was sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> Talk to me yes, about the yes, store. Yeah. What, what do you think in there? This store and the website are both extensions of my home. Oh, everybody said you don't spend much time here. I don't. Why? Because my job and my kids are in Los Angeles. Makes sense. So can you guys walk me through the store? It's a bit of sensory overload for me. Like, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to focus on if I came in here. Who buys all of this, Monica? Monica has a say in it, yeah. Looks like you guys basically just buy stuff and put your sticker on it. Like, is there a buying plan? No, I don't know. As I look around and I see bowls and scarves and popcorn and coffee, it's like, am I at a country store? Am I at a five and dime shop? Am I at a flea market? I don't know where I'm at. Wow, well, nice are to you? meet you. This is Monica's accountant. And so do you handle the financials? I do. So as you look at the financials, are you able to say how much revenue is generated from these items? It's significant, very strong. 50% of the revenue? Probably more. And what are the margins on these two products? The margin on both of those is 82%. And what's the total revenue that you guys do as a company? Approximately 450. 450,000? That's awesome. What's the total paid in capital? She's put over a million dollars in. Yeah. That's a lot of money. My work, my job. I saved it up for, for how many years? Ten from shows and movies and stuff. Yeah. And it's all gone. Yes. If you hadn't gotten new gigs, mm -hmm. how would you be funding this? I don't know. All of her advisors would have been telling her that she couldn't support this anymore. Yeah. You're throwing money in the trash right now. I'm willing to put up a hundred grand to get things off the ground so that I can have full control of every change that has to happen. And we'll be 50-50 partners. Marcus, what about the million I put in? Where is the million you put in? In all of the mistakes that I've made, it's gone. So why would- But it's also in the products that we've developed too. How much did you spend doing that? Just the actual product development? You're smart. Probably what? 100,000. Right. We got a deal? Deal. That's your check. Can I give you a hug? You can. OK. That's my deal. So I agreed to invest $100,000 into the business. I would like to invest in you guys. But at the end of the day, this business can't be managed from California. Who's in charge of this business today? Day-to-day -day operations is Katie. OK, and we're going to respect that leadership. Once we build out what this business needs to look like, we gotta know what inventory is in this building and how much cash is here, we gotta get it freed up. 
We have to rebuild the website and get every product on here. And if it doesn't belong, we got to get rid of it. We're going to do more research about the sea buckthorn. We're going to want to create scents around it. We're going to want to create other products around it and mm. build the whole lineup. Scents? Yeah. That's so cool. In order to maximize the revenue for the company and for me to get a return on my investment, I want to create an entire online marketplace and really inexpensively upgrade what they're doing today. So I'm having my team work with Monica's. Good morning. Hey, Marcus. Um, so there's lots to talk about. I don't know if you have a minute. So what's up? Well, um, here's my concern. I know that you have the utmost trust in Katie. You said, Katie, you're the you're going to be the face of this company. No, I didn't say she was going to be the face, first of all. You're the face. I said she has to be in charge of the day-to-day. -day. For her to take things into her own hands, and I've talked to her about it. I said, Kate, listen, I'm twice your age. I know that you don't think that I understand business, but I do. Monica, look, other people can make decisions. I have to be honest, I'm starting to get annoyed that every time we start to move forward, Monica puts a roadblock in front of me. If she really ultimately wants this business to succeed, she's gonna have to learn how to trust her employees. Today I'm taking the team to Agilex. It's a company that specializes in designing custom fragrances that meet the business's brand. The perfumers make recipes, right? And this is where they're compounded. Mm -hmm. We reviewed um, a lot of your products, and we bought and we smelled. And, and kind of my feeling of your line is that it's very much an aroma wellness, what we're calling aroma wellness. For the packaging, yes. created a pattern. And I think it would be really awesome for every line to, to have its own unique pattern. So we could have a lavender line, we could have a buckthorn. Um, yeah. based on the different flavors. Nice job, Jess. I'm totally nice digging the label. The label's dead on. This might be easier to see the pattern. It's really easy to show the different scents with the different colors. You don't like it? It's not our customer, but we're not boho sheep. To me, it looks like everything else out there. It feels like there should be a little bit more warmth to it. You approve the colors, so the colors are not an issue. Because the colors came from you guys. No, the colors are great. We have a lot of people trying to collaborate here. My goal was to include Jess in the process. Right, absolutely. Like For anything. I'm just, it feels too busy, and I want right. a little bit more warmth. That's, I mean, I can sit here and not give my opinion, but why the right. f am I sitting here? That's sort of what I'm asking myself. Because throughout this process, I've taken you down these steps and asked you to trust that I know what I'm doing. And so I brought Chloe to the table with Julie. We brought Emerson to the table. Let me finish, please. I'm not saying anything. We brought Agilex to the table. And so everybody has really collaborated into this. Is it perfect? Definitely not. But we're taking all your feedback, mm -hmm. and we're sitting here today, and we don't have mm -hmm. My whole thing about this whole process is not losing sight of why we started it, how we started it, and where we want to go. Are you really going to try to sell me that? You've navigated the whole process. So I was at your office. I asked to take over the website. You told me that was fantastic. You asked me how much it was going to cost. I told you nothing. You're like, oh my god, I've been waiting for this for a year. Yep. This is amazing. You're supposed to get them everything. What happens next? You had asked us not to provide that. Because we didn't. Marcus. Right. But you were there, and you gave me permission to do it. Because, Marcus, I felt like everything was happening so quickly. Don't take this the wrong way. If, if you're uncomfortable, sometimes so are we. I'm sorry. Then this is all on me. And this is all on me. It's you. I don't understand. Don't, don't. No, I just, I can't Just sit tight for a second. I, honey, I can't do anymore. But I don't know what else to you say. You don't have to do anything, you. Monica. Sometimes what I'd like to happen is for you guys to take it over. Really? Like, like, this is so messed up. Why is this messed up? I think the reality of it is, and this is, you take two strong personalities, mine and Monica's, mm -hmm. and one person wants to take the car in a direction that he or she knows is better. It's not easy, and that's okay. That makes us friends. That makes us... You could call me and get advice from me. And you want to drive the process. And maybe that's what makes you and I very similar, is that I like to drive the process, you like to drive the process, and there's only one steering wheel. And I'm not going to take it from you. I want to protect things to a fault. And I think that it was about me letting go and trusting and going, OK, he's got me back. Came down to trust.
The good news Monica. is, Monica, you're still 100% in charge. Just perfect. <laughs> All righty. I'll see you soon. All right? OK. Sometimes it's better to get out while you're ahead. The definition of an entrepreneur is somebody that has the willingness to try things and the strength to understand that failure is an option. But more importantly, the guts and the courage to get up and try again. Are you that person? What's my value? Are you asking me that? No, I know what it is. And that so confidence is what I love about you. The Prophet, all new Tuesdays, 10 Eastern. CNBC, get yours.